the morning. Does, does Hollywood wake up for something like that? 5.30? Uh, <laughs> well, we were all there around 3.30 a.m. to set up and then, you know, be ready for the 5.30 announcement. Uh -huh. But, you know, it's kind of exciting to be there, and, you know. Was it packed? Really was it packed normally? Who goes? It's usually all the media. A lot of journal uh, journalists all over the world are there, and a lot of publicists. Mm -hmm. of, the act, uh, you know, of the actors that are, you know, hoping that their clients will be nominated. Okay. What was the uh, initial reaction of the journalists who were there? Were there surprises on the nominations, or were those uh, practically expected? Um, there were some that were expected, and, but there were also that were, um, you know, surprises. For example, Haley Steinfeld, she was a surprise nom uh, nominee because she was a nominee for the Golden Globe. Yes. Let's talk about Haley Steinfeld, a proud couple by her. for her role in True Grit. Mm -hmm. But I was surprised that for this, um, this year, the Golden Globes didn't, you know, recognize her. Right. But um, have you had encounters with uh, Haley? I know she's pretty new uh, to the carpet scene. Right. Yeah, only twice. One at the Golden Globes and one at a, a team party. What? How is she? Really. Is she usually gracious to photographers? Because I know there are stars who practically just walk by photographers. Yeah, she's, she's very nice. Mm -hmm. She's new to the whole scene, so, you know, she's not used to the whole, you know, the whole photographer thing and the red carpet stuff, but, you know, this year, she's got to get used to it. <laughs> right, exactly, especially after this nomination. How about Matthew Libati for A Black Swan? Um, tell me your thoughts on that nomination. Uh, he deserves it. Well, he's been nominated for um, Best Cinematography for Black Swan, and, yeah, he's been working with the director John Anofsky for a long time and a lot of big directors in the past, so he deserves the nomination. Have you encountered Matthew in the past? Not yet, but I will be soon. Do you think he's going to attend uh, the ceremony? Because we know in the past there are people that are nominated, but not all of them attend the, the, the Academy Awards. Of, co of course he will. He'll, he'll, he'll attend for sure. Why do you think that is, though? They say that uh, the Golden Globes, it's, it's a better attended event compared to the Oscar Awards. Do you share that sentiment or observation? Um, well, for the Oscars, I guess a lot of the big main stars, for example, the presenters, usually go in the back because they want to give the nominees uh, more of their, you know, the attention to mm -hmm. their nominated. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, okay, tell me about, uh, how about this, uh, 10 uh, films nominated for Best Picture. Best Picture. Uh, the 10 films that were nominated was The King's Speech, mm -hmm. True Grit, uh -huh. Deception, The Social Network, The Fighter, 127 Hours, Black Swan, Toy Story 3, The right. Kids Are All Right. Everything, uh, everything is there. Do you have a personal favorite? I'm sure um, you covered the premieres of these <laughs> films. Three films that I like were The Pink Speech, True Grit, and The Social Network. Okay. And so you're going to be rooting for that from the red carpet at the Oscar Awards. What are your expectations? Do you think that based on, you know, the, just the sheer number of, uh, uh, of films nominated and some of the stars that are nominated for centers, do you think, expect that a lot of the uh, Hollywood A-listers are going to be out on the carpet on February 26th? Uh, some of them will, but most likely some of them will be on stage. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. thank you so much, uh, Stanley, for sharing your observations and your thoughts with us today on the show. We hope to have you more regularly on Cabo Bay now, right? Thank you, Janelle. That was Stanley Marador, our eye on the red carpet. Abangan po, they're going to have a brand new segment here on the show, bringing you pictures and interviews from our favorite stars from the red carpet, different Hollywood, uh, Hollywood events from premieres and uh, awards nights as well. We will be back tomorrow in Cabo Bay, LA, just over.